And this is Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Services Talking Business at the C-Suite Network event in New York. I have a chance to meet with two extraordinary special guests here. Uh, one is an actress in Phantom of the Opera. The other is a founder of Make-A-Wish. And uh, I have a chance. Let's first talk with Jessica Radaski. Jessica, good to see you. Um, tell us about your role in Phantom of the Opera. That's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'm uh, a dancer in the show, actually. Um, I've been with the show for several years. It's so much fun. I feel very, very lucky to be involved in the show. We perform eight times a week on Broadway, so come see us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's tremendous. Now, tell us about the group that you brought into the meeting, performed, and uh, and you do the same uh, performances at hospitals and Ronald McDonald houses. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's a, um, a children's hospital outreach and art scholarship nonprofit called Broadway Hearts. Um, it's comprised of all um, Broadway performers from all different shows in the city, and we go into children's hospitals and perform with the kids, um, sing alongs. Uh, we live stream into their rooms if they're too ill to join us. Uh, we also go into the Ronald McDonald houses. Um, we are expanding nationwide um, as of the new year. And the art scholarship um, is for uh, the kids post-treatment, any uh, medium that they love, be it voice, singing, dance, uh, music, fine art writing, uh, whatever will maximize their giving potential and uh, enhance their quality of life. We would just want to keep all that going. Just for menace. And we have a chance to talk with Frank Shankwitz, who is a creator and a founder of Make-A-Wish Foundation. What a tremendous uh, program that is. Frank, tell us about it. How did you get get started? Well, this goes back to 1980. I was a motorcycle officer with the Arizona Highway Patrol. I was introduced to a little boy named Chris, seven years old, unfortunately terminal leukemia. And he had his heroes from a TV show back then called Chips. And he said, I want to be a motorcycle officer like Punch and John from the TV show Chips. And Arizona Highway Patrol made that happen for him. His wish became true. But he passed away a few days later. He was buried in Illinois with full police honors. But coming home, I just started thinking, here's this little boy who had a wish, and we made it happen. Why can't we do that for other children? And that's when the idea of the Make-A-Wish Foundation was born. We're now worldwide. We're in 46 countries, 60 chapters in the United States, and we just granted over a half million wishes. That's amazing. How did you grow that? You know, we talk about scale and marketing. How did you go from one successful uh, helping a, a child to now uh, helping thousands around the country, around the world? It's just because if people accepted this idea back in 1980, nobody had ever heard of this. There's no internet back then. But you, the media, is what helped us out. I mean, they just picked it up and spread us all over the place. And it's given us the opportunity to get me to get involved with now other nonprofits. Why I'm on the board with Jessica for Broadway Hearts. So we can really expand this program. Like she said, we've got interest already all over the nation in theatrical towns, in Chicago, San Francisco, Los Angeles, etc., to get chapters, which she started. Absolutely. Frank, just tell us how can someone help make a Wish Foundation? You can just go to wish.org. Uh, it's, well, I say nationwide, worldwide. Put in your zip code or your country. It will take you to that local chapter. Like in New York, there's five chapters in New York State itself. And, and just see if you want to make a donation, volunteer, whatever the case might be. My movie just came out, Wish Man, and the theme of the movie is everyone can be a hero, just give back somehow. We will look forward to seeing that movie. And uh, Jessica, just tell us again about someone who can help your organization that's going out to entertain children in hospitals and Ronald McDonald. What a great calling that is. Oh, thank you. Yes, um, please be in touch with us. We're at broadwayhearts.org. Um, email us. Uh, anyone is welcome to volunteer. Um, obviously, we love collaborations, we love ideas, so um, be in touch. Jessica, uh, fantastic. Well, look, we got to go back out to see see you in Phantom of the yes, Opera. Yes. Uh, great to meet you, and Frank, great to meet you. Uh, what you. a tremendous uh, uh, program you started. Good to see you both. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Great to see you both. This is Kim Kreitzer for CBSI Services Talking Business at the C Suite Network in New York City.